Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's me, RP. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as I check out Motel Manager Simulator again. This will be my third episode. I've streamed it twice, so let's let's get busy here at the Notel Motel. I've got some things that I would like to do, and one of the things I'd like to do is thank my Discord. My Discord is awesome. We've got a great, great group of people coming together. A beautiful community of sim gamers, so if you'd like to join us, please consider coming by and joining our discord we'd love to have you there'll be a link in the description as always and in that discord i got a lot of game suggestions and i get a lot of i get a lot of help so i'd like to implement some of the help that i've got and basically what i did is i asked my discord very simply 53 days in with the things that i've already accomplished what should i go for next and right off the bat I'd like to give credit to Wolfie, and I'd like to give credit to Fizz. They've been playing the game on my Discord. And they're a little bit further ahead than I am, and they suggest that you upgrade this gas tank here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take their advice, and let's upgrade this and get that done. Because if they say that's what I should do, then by golly, that's what I should do. So let's get that done. All right, let's go over here to our upgrades. And now I got to find the fuel storage. There it is. I've already upgraded it once, and they said to do the next upgrade, which will max it out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we can hold as much fuel as we can. And the next thing I want to get done is the staff room. I'm going to need $2,000 for that. I've got $3,704.90 left over. I do have some ads that we have here in the in the on the grounds you know around the hotel We've got this great gillette ad of this cute little baby shaving this little this little housewife grabbing a big old hide box here and a, and a pony phone we can get paid right and guess what else we can do now that we're a four-star hotel we can grab a couple of more ads and you guys suggested that i do this as well so i'm going to grab the ones that give me a high revenue per day so we'll grab this one and let's see what else we have a $90 a day ad right here. Let's grab this one. And then I think what I want to do is just grab one more because I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these ads in the rooms uh, because you guys suggested that if you put them in the hotel rooms, each individual hotel room right here, you can put them in the bathroom and and they count so you'll you'll make passive income so this is a way to get some passive income and again lots of suggestions and i want to try to get as many of these suggestions in this episode as possible right now there's people inside there but that doesn't mean i should not make a little money while i'm doing this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this one kind of like right here in the middle and if you hit e you'll see that you have a area of effect and i don't think that they're supposed to lap so let's check this one out. Yeah, see these lap. So what we want to do with these is we want to take this one right here. We're going to unlock it because I did lock it with X. And we're going to move it. You know, I'll just move it over here. That way I know it's it's not going to interfere. But put that right there. Now we'll go ahead and turn that back on. Take a look at the radius. And now the radiuses are separate. So let's go grab a couple of more signs. And this was a great suggestion is to get as much of this advertising as you can because it's just passive income you know you just buy it once and it just earns you money for having it on your property so we're going to go ahead and make sure this one is probably over here turn on the radius bubble yep perfect okay let's go grab another one hope everybody's having a great day i hope you guys are enjoying these playthroughs i sure am i tell you i like this game a lot when we were streaming it we had such a great time with this you guys were awesome with all of your suggestions and all of the help that you guys give me. All right, I think this might be a little too close. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to have to do with this one is put it over here. Yeah, that way. Yep, that looks good. All right, no, no bubbles are overlapping. At least that's my belief is you, is they, they can't be overlapping. I could be wrong. You guys, if you know about that, I'm just kind of doing it that way because I think that's probably what you got to do. And I have another one over here. So, yeah, let me know. Is is that a thing? I think it is. I heard it was, but uh, you never know. I like to find that kind of stuff out. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I do want to get the, the staff. I want to get a little more staff. So I do want to get this upgraded right here. 
So let me clean the store because I am now the, the custodian and I'm, I'm doing a terrible job as you can see. It's absolutely filthy. So yeah, <laughs> as soon as I pick up one of these, this will be a bag. Yep, there we go. All right, we'll get all the solid. Gosh, this is crazy. Amazing. Hold on there, folks. Let's get the broom out. Get this stuff all picked up. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little bit, a little bit behind on our cleaning. But if you hold down control, uh, you can pick up more than one bag, more than one item, which is uh, something that you guys told me on the last stream, which is awesome. I need energy, so let me go raid my Thank shelf you. here. I'll take one of these, and I'll take one of these, and I'll take a bag of chips. Okay, now I've got some energy. All right, do we have any money to collect? We do. There's a thousand dollars right there. In a heartbeat. We got five hundred. Jolly. Hey, Jolly. Can I have some money? Okay. Thanks, buddy. Good old Jolly Roger. He's pumping my gas for me. All right, so that gave me six thousand two hundred and forty-seven dollars and eighty-nine cents. I think we can safely go ahead and do another upgrade. So let's go back over here and go to management. No, we want uh, upgrades. I'm sorry, guys. We want upgrades, and I want to upgrade the staff room, and that's $2,000. And now, I want to go to home, management, staff, hire, and let's and let's hire Freya. Why not? We'll hire her, go to employees, and she's going to do some cleaning. That's going to free me up from having to do any cleaning. How's my cigarette machine doing? All right, I have some money there I can collect. You guys also told me make sure that I upgrade the phones immediately. I did that. So now we have all the phones so we can collect some phone money over here. All right, so I'm I'm looking pretty good here now. So I get everything I did. All right, so we raided the coffers. We've got $4,815. I haven't been robbed in a while. So I am expecting to get robbed at some point. And uh, thank you also for letting me know that this guy spawns like over here. His truck spawns over here and you gotta get him. He goes this way. If you don't see him coming, he's gonna get in here. He's gonna steal and he's gonna run back this way. So you gotta get him before he gets back to his uh, vehicle. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. And the next thing I'd like to do in this episode is I wanna continue to grow. Uh, the money is starting to come in fairly nicely now. Now that I've gotten the tips such as the ad revenue tip. And we're going to add more ads. Obviously, there's more ads that I can add. I didn't, that, that sounds stupid, but that's, you know, there's more ads that I can add right here. I can add more ads. Uh, but I want to wait and see how they cycle through. Maybe in a, in a few days, we'll get some different ads cycling. Oh, there's a cage ad. But well, look at that, 848 cage. Well, I got to have cage. I like cage. So let's get cage, all right? That way I have one more ad. Now I've got to find a place to put this ad so that it has a, you know, so that it doesn't interfere with any kind of uh, placements. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it right here. Open up that bubble and open up this bubble. I think I'm going to have to move this one again. Let me see. Let me put this guy right here. Maybe this will do it. Nice and close to the door. I definitely separate them. What about this one? Yep. All right. Good. Like I said, this is the way I'm doing it. If you guys, you know, tell me that, you know, hey, RP, they, they can overlap. Don't sweat it. But then I'll, I'll let them overlap. But right now, I don't think you can. At least that's what I've been told. But if you know otherwise, let me know. I'm, I'm always, always up for learning new things. Okay, what do we got that's going cool. on here? All right, we don't have as much money now because we've already looted everything and we've done some upgrades. But I think we can squeeze in one more expansion here because a, a new room only cost 500 so let's let's go ahead and spend 500 and then let's go back to the delivery and the equipment and now we have these basics here i'm gonna throw a bet on here i've got four thousand dollars so i can get a get a few things going here right get a get a get a new Get a new room up and going. I need a couple of lamps. I need a couple of doors. I need that door. I'm just going to keep... I don't know why I just... I'm just doing this white door here. You know, I just like it. Maybe later I'll change them. When the, when the hotel's making tons of money and I got nothing else to do but spend money. But right now, I'm a pretty, pretty basic vanilla person. 
as you will see as I go about doing this. Okay, so I've got a bed. These items I already have. Oh, actually, I do need some pillows. And I'm going to go ahead and get some upgraded pillows here that actually give a bonus to the room. I'm going to grab that and grab that. Four of those. We've got the door, the lamps. We need a bathtub. I'm just, now I'm just basically buying the high-end gear and getting the rooms to be as profitable as possible. I'm going to get that toilet and I want to get this heater. All right, so that's the basics for $733.96. That's not like decorating it. That's not, you know, that's just getting it. So these items, all of these items need to be accounted for for the room to be rentable. So I just want to get it rentable. I can always fancy it up later, if you know what I'm saying. All right, can I get this done with that? Nope, I need the big truck, baby. There we go. All right, so how much to, to speed this process up? And even $800, let's do that so we don't have to wait around. In the meantime, let's go check out what's happening. It's getting to be 2 o'clock in the morning. Getting very close to the time if I'm going to get robbed. I think this would be the time, right? Let's make sure we haven't been. We would be uh, notified with a big old gong. We've got some food left, some hats, some glasses. We do need to start thinking about buying a little more stock. I'll do that after the furnitures come, but let's go ahead and clean up the room. That's one of the things I can do while I wait for the uh, truck to arrive. Our cleaners probably already come in here and look at that. Our cleaners already taking care of business. That is awesome. That is great. All right. So that cleaner was definitely worth the money. So what I want to do now then, since the cleaner was so good at that, let's grab some of these floor pieces I have here. And I'm just like, I'm doing the bathroom and I'm doing the, the room all on the same floor. I'm not, I'm just so boring guys. I just want, I just want the money, you know, I don't care. But anyway, oh, actually, if you hold these, let me show you something. I didn't know this. Some of this stuff, it doesn't work this way, but this, it happens to work this way. If you hold E and you're holding all these boxes, it will definitely switch over to the next the next box for you so you can get get kind of bad camera angle here but you guys see what i mean right i can i can just keep holding the boxes just keep pulling out the squares it'll just keep using all the boxes that i'm holding which is nice so we'll get this floor in here ran out of box there all right get that perfect got that done let's go ahead and hit that little piece and i need to hit this little piece i gotta listen to make sure that i'm not getting robbed because i just have a funny feeling that i'm due for a robbery i don't know why i keep saying that guys i know but i'm just paranoid all right our trucks here i've got the floor laid out making some positive progress go ahead and put this away thank you get some of this stuff out of here you know what's going to happen is i'm going to get i'm going to hear the bong just as this just as i start carrying all this stuff and I won't be able to get my shotgun out. So let's quickly put it down. Well, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't think he's going to rob me now. I think it's too late. Maybe we made it through the night without any shenanigans. That's going to be great. All right, so I did put this. Where's this go? Here. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that yet, guys, because i got to paint. Oh, it's a door anyway. I don't want it to go there, do I? I do not. I want it to go here. Nope, that's the wrong door. Let me put this here real quick. I'm getting, I'm getting stuck with the items that I have in my hand. So let me put that down. I'm going to put this door and I want to put this door. Now, which one do I have? Nope, still the wrong one. All right, let's put this one here. What is going on? Stop it. Thank you. Jeez, come on. All right, let's go grab the light so we have some light to work with. See if this guy's truck is empty. We'll send him on his way. Make sure nothing... Got left behind in here. Looks pretty good to me. Adios. All right. What you do with the lights, man? They're right here. And I need I need paint. Uh, so the bathroom, I am going to paint that white. And I got all this white paint that I can use. And then then we'll pick a, a different color for the wall. I, I think I'll pick... I, I think I'm going to make a light blue room. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Let me see. Let's put this up there. And then we can turn this on. We can put this one... Excuse me. Open the door, please. All right, let's put everything down. I'm having difficulties. Thank you. All right, I want to put that right there. Okay, and I want to put this one right about there. Turn this on. There we 
There we go. All right, perfect. Well, as perfect as I want it to be. All right, so let's get our ceiling taken care of. Let's try to get this room ready to be occupied before the other tenants vacate the rooms that are already occupied. And then we can rent five rooms instead of four rooms. See how much I can get done. All right. Keep hearing doors opening and closing. I wonder if I've got tenants leaving. All right. So like I said, those advertising posters, we're going to put them in here. You guys had suggested that, that right here on this wall is a great place to put them so people can look at an advertisement while they take a shower. And uh, I couldn't agree more. Right? Couldn't agree more. Let me get this all painted up real quick and we'll get to putting the furniture in. All right, I got the bathroom all painted. Let's go ahead and get some bathroom stuff in here. We got this nice uh, shower tub combination here. We'll throw that right there. We've got the sink right here. We'll put that right here. And toilet, that right there. All right, great. So that gives us all the basics that we need, but we still have to get this room ready. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this paint. We've got all the ceilings done. I just need a color for the walls so I can take all of this out. Got to make the bed. Got to paint the walls. And uh, then we got to see if it's ready. One of the things I forgot to do was to fill this thing up. So let's make sure that we have enough fuel before we continue any further. And while I'm here, I need a couple of things that are necessary for the room to be rented. I'm going to need a mirror. I'm going to need, I'm going to need a trash can. I'm going to need a towel holder. I like to get the heated one. And I need a toilet paper holder as well. And I do like to get a wooden shelf. And that's about it. That's all I need. Now, the only other thing I need is the paint. So let's go to build pieces. Let's go to paint. And I'm just going to give this a, a nice blue color. So I'm going to add four of those paints. And that's $192. And let's go ahead and order that, and we'll do a fast delivery. And there we go. Jolly's getting a little bit behind. Let's give him a hand. Clear out some of these cars. This is the fun part of the game. That'll do. I love doing the gas. I always get a tip. Very proud of that. My excellent customer service. Good job. Thank you. There's a the tip right there. In a heartbeat. All right. So now we'll just get these cars out of here. Check out our, our funds now that we have the tank being filled that was fast thanks a bunch there you go jolly you're all set pal all right this guy's loading up i think i need to add a little fuel to my generator if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and just take care of a little business here truck should be here any minute if it's not here already i just want to get this generator filled up real quick all right excellent i think the truck's probably here now it is awesome all right so i need this paint i need this and I need this, and I hope I can carry that. I cannot grab another paint. Well, at least I have two of them. If he puts the paint away, I'll be able to find this paint. It's a nice light blue. I hope it's blue. You never know when it goes on the wall. Sometimes it looks a little different, right? Just like in real life. Okay, so I've got a towel. Oh, no, actually, this is the garbage. Let's go ahead and put that right there. And next thing is our toilet paper rack. Holder, I should say. Put that right there. Put our... Towel rack right there, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the painting done real quick in here. All right, we got a nice painted room. I can put this on now. Takes care of that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this paint real quick. We do a once over here. I need the shelf. I gotta bring the shelf in. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the toiletries down real quick here. I need a towel. Got a nice towel here right here. Put this one on here. Need toilet paper for over here. Put a toilet paper down. All right, that takes care of that. We gotta make the bed. Go ahead and move these pillows. I don't even know if that even matters, but hey, it's a virtual motel. You know what I'm saying? Bed sheet. All right, we've got 13 white sheets. Let's go ahead and use these. Grab another one, place it down, pick it up. I wish you could just apply the sheet automatically, but for whatever reason, and we're going to pick a blanket here. I've got a six of these, so I, I can't just place this. If I hit E, I got to put it down, pick it up, then hit E. So yeah, I, w I wish they'd make it so you could just apply the item like this, you know, place, hit E, but can't, got to lay it down, pick it up again. And there you go. So let's go ahead and put the pillows up here. And right now, like I said, I just want to get this up and running as a basic room, meet the, the basic criteria to rent it. And then I'll worry about, you know, making it fancy later. 
All right, it is getting into the evening. I do need to stay vigilant. I still think I can be robbed. I still think I'm due, so I do need to be very careful. Let me, let me take care of the van here, make sure it's empty. The van looks good. You can go ahead and leave, my man. All right, so it's 20 hundred. Let's grab some food because we're definitely going to need to be able to run just in case we uh, come under a, a robbing situation. So I'll just eat my normal chips, cookies, and chips. In a heartbeat. Yeah, in a heartbeat. You got that right. All right, let's see how we're doing here. See if we got any ad money now that we've added all those ads. And look at that, 2,320. That is awesome. That puts us up to $3,000. I do want to get a couple of more ads here. Let's see what we have. We've got 26, 34, 35, 35, 42. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And let's grab 34, 35, 35, 38. Yeah, we'll grab this one, 38. That gives us the max amount of ads that we can place. And like I said, we got to be real vigilant, guys. I, I, I just feel a robbery coming on. You know what I'm saying? I just feel it. All right, let's go put this into the room and put this right into the shower here. Oh, well, that's going to look good. I like that. Okay, perfect. All right, and again, I want to make sure that this room is ready to rent. Kind of got sidetracked there with the ads when I pulled that money. Okay, let's see, rooms. It is ready to rent, so the next time I go about renting rooms, I can rent that one. So let me get the shelf because I did buy a shelf, and I used that shelf to hold... The toiletries. So what did they do? There it is right there. I don't think I have anything else for that room as far as physical items. I think this is it. And then, you know, later on, I'll add a couple of things. You know, I'll get the value of the room up gradually. Uh, probably a couple of end tables, things like that. A TV, definitely. But uh, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and put that right there. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and put the toiletries. I'm going to put the toothpaste right here. I'm going to put the mouthwash right there. I'm so lazy, guys. I don't even turn them around, okay? I just put them up here. They're going to get uh, used. They're going to get sold, whatever it is that it that happens here. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. We're ready to go. I do want to put a TV in here, though. How much money do I have? 2989 Go ahead and close that. See how much longer we have to wait before our current renters check out all right 40 41 minutes 21 minutes 35 minutes all right maybe we might not even be able to see that happen in this episode guys i don't know i don't know but anyway we got an extra room let's go check on our money situation see if we've earned any money here beautiful beautiful thanks you're welcome thank you look at that the cycle repeats itself. There we go. We're whole again, folks. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. But I am believing it because I'm seeing it. Why doesn't this phone ever make me money? What's what's wrong with this phone? All right. Five-star shop. How are we doing on our goods? We are definitely getting a little low. We're not out. We're still selling stuff. Not bad. Okay. Great. Awesome. Let's keep moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. Let's go over to our snacks and let's see what we got. Let's see. We've got some spicy ones that we can buy. Let's go ahead and grab about four of those. I've got some oatmeal cookies we can buy. Let's go ahead and grab four of those. We've got 21 of these in stock. The price is still down. I'll add two. The Cheez-Its. Definitely loving the Cheez-Its. And also donut mix. You can't live without it. Got 17 in stock. Got 13 of the chunk. The chunk's staying at the same price. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of those. And, oh, we have a new one, this one. Let's go ahead and grab this. And now let's go over to soft drinks. Let's see what we got. Let's grab some of these. Got to take it easy with the money, though, right? We, we have enough money to replenish our stock. I'm just going to go easy here. And some of this stuff, I'm probably going to have to stock it because I don't think they stock new items. I'm also going to have to make sure that I price this stuff as well. All right, I've got $1,000 worth of that. I need some alcohol. How are we doing here? We've got 19 of these in stock. This is a zero. It's a new one. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of those. What else do we have here? We've got 15 of these in stock. The price is basically the same. Grab a couple. We got 10 of these in stock. Let's grab a couple. 
These are ones I don't have to change the prices on. We have a couple of these. Let's go ahead and grab them. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. All right, we got to increase the size of this truck to a van. All right, now, what else do I need here? Uh, shop products. I need cigarettes. How are we doing on these right here? Let's grab a few of these. And that's $2,000. I think that'll be enough. Let's go ahead and order that. I'm going to do the, the fast order. I do want it to get here fast. That wasn't that much money. Let's go ahead and do it. Excellent. What time is it? 4.47 in the morning. I never heard a bong, so I don't believe we've been robbed. I think we're, we're doing well. All right. These are linens and stuff. I am eventually going to have to put another shelf in here without a doubt. And I'm waiting on linen from these rooms once these people vacate so that I can get uh, some laundry done. Uh, so basically, as it stands right now, guys, yeah, I got uh, I got a lot done, and it's all thanks to you guys. I really do appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome with your suggestions. You know, if you guys enjoy the video, please do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. This game is awesome. I'm having a great time with it. Let me see how long it's going to take before the, the new tenants come out. We're being robbed. We don't have time. We've got to get going, folks. Let's go. We've got some energy. Now, I think he's already got the stuff. There you go, buddy. You don't even get a chance. Look at that. Knowing his pattern helped me out quite a bit, guys. I really do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and grab this bucket real quick. And uh, yeah, let's put him in the bucket. A la Breaking Bad. Put him down here, right next to the laundry. Let's grab one of these. Let's pour that in there. And let's get him to bubbling. I can hear him. He's, he's bubbling away. That was awesome, guys. That was awesome. We, we got him before he got us, and that's what counts. Right? That's what counts. Let me go and put a few of these things up. Let me see. I'll put some of this over here, maybe. I'll put some of this up over here. Just want to get a few things up for these guys. Good job. Oh, it looks like I forgot this poster, guys. I need to pick this up. I got to put this somewhere. New poster. Where are we going to put it? I think what I'll do is I'll put it right here, right where people can see it when they walk up. Look at that. I'll hit that area of effect. That works out just fine. All right. I need to price things up real quick here, guys. Real quick. We got some new items. Always go over to your management, to your pricing, and anything that is above 100% like this right here. You want to get a little more money for your for your goods. So we're going to go with $1.80. And that's a little too high. Maybe $1.60. That's a little too high. Maybe $1.50. That's a little bit too low. Looks like 55 is where we're going to end up. So we, we get as much as we can. All right. Everything looks pretty good on my end here. I've got all my prices where I want them to be. I'm feeling pretty good about the upgrades that we made. I'm going to grind away with this setup the way I have it right now. We've got five rooms now instead of four. We've got a maxed out fuel tank. Uh, I have extra employees now that free me up. Uh, so basically just going to do a little bit more grinding and then come back for another episode if you guys like. Don't forget, hit that like button. That helps me know that you guys are enjoying the playthroughs. And uh, we'll continue to grow the motel. I really like to thank all of my Discord members. I like to thank all the people that support and watch my channel. I am so happy. You guys make me very, very happy. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. I will catch you in another episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.